These men from the community, taking the lead and responsibility for the negative effects of HIV, TB, and sexually transmitted infections. Men must respect women and children, especially those who are older, who behave like blessings to our youth. We're asking men to work with us, respect women, and use condoms. Protect yourself, protect the woman that you are dating or you married to. Young ladies now, they have children without control. Some of them because they believe that because they have the social grant and that social grant so she can raise the kid without a father. So I think that the government must regulate that. New infections are declining, but people who are HIV positive are living longer because they're taking ARVs. It is within our trust to reverse the HIV pandemic and conquer the gender-based violence. We can and we will win the battle by working together with all our stakeholders in our schools, our churches, in our workplaces, in our industries, in factories. Working together, we can change the situation. <coughs> With these few words, I'd like to declare this SANAC extended plenary meeting officially open. Government wants more people to get tested and treated, especially in high-risk areas. More funding is needed to source better quality and high-impact ARVs. According to the Human Science Research Council of 2017 survey, 7.9 million people are living with HIV in our country. This is 1.2 million people more than the HSRC estimated in 2012. As we know, Prevalence is a product of the new infections as well as those that already have TB, uh, had HIV. In terms of the numbers of the new HIV infections, the HRC, HSRC estimated that in 2017, of those greater than two years of age, the incidence was 0.4%, which was down compared to 0.85% in 2012. So there's a slight reduction there, which I think is a good trend. These rates... While it's encouraging are still high, of concern is that the new infection rate of those between 15 and 24 years is still at 1%, which is slightly down from 1.2% in 2012, we wanted to lower still. These data mean that one of the main reasons that prevalence is increasing is that people living with HIV are living longer. When you do the calculations, sometimes uh, when we talked about reduction in the prevalence, it was not necessarily because there was less infection, it was because more people had died. That's the complexity of the calculation. So currently, <coughs> 5 million people are on antiretroviral treatment, of which 4.8 million are in the public sector. The UN AIDS has set South Africa a new target. Reduce the rate of new infections to 100,000 or less by December next year. We make a call to all South Africans to unite and defeat the schedule of HIV, TB, uh, and AIDS. If you were to be able to defeat HIV and AIDS, that defeat will happen in South Africa first. The world is watching South Africa. They expect leadership, they expect determination, commitment, and courage. We have no choice but neither effort nor energy in our desire to, to defeat HIV, AIDS, and TB. And we can do it. We need to mobilize all sectors of society and work together in common resolve to ensure that our, our cause will triumph. Government is also stepping up efforts to have better collaboration with the private sector in effectively dealing with the HIV pandemic. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News, Sekunda in Bumalanga.